the next thing that we want to do over here is to write some queries to get update and delete our record right so let us write some of the query over here so we need to select the future over here and future first of all we'll select the get the list of the um, we want to get the list of the employee data so this is the employee data that we need so uh, let me just close this bracket first of all and this will return us the uh, get the employees right so get the employees and uh, that should be of the async function sorry async function and inside this we have to okay so i need to close one more bracket over here and here we will return we want to return the um we need to write the query over here or we have to first of all say return await and we need a we need to write a select and we need to pass the table name so the table name that we have is the employee right so this is the table name that we have this is the table name right so select the employee and then we just have to say get so this will return us the list of the employee so it will return us the list of the employee over here so this is to get the let's say this is to get the we just say get the list of employee right and then we will have another one more function that is to future uh, we have to write a future and we need to get the employee data employee data and these are all auto generated for us so we don't have to create this all of this uh, data class over here so if you just uh, control click and go to this definition and uh, let me go to the definition uh, I, i'm not able to go to definition okay so these are the uh, data class that has been defined for us right so here are the things that we can actually get into it so you can just we have two column two companion from json uh, to json copy with has code all of those has been uh here right so we don't have to do it it has been auto generated for us for the using the the code generation tool that we have used so the uh, future we need to get the employee and we just say get employee over here and we will pass in the integer value of the id to get the particular single list of the employee and here we will return uh, let us return um, we need to return and I'll just say I'll wait over here and this will be we need to select so we need to write a query over here we will just say select and the table name is the employee that we have and dot dot where right so we need to use a where condition where the table is our uh, table so tlb dot the id table dot okay so why i cannot get the table sorry not the tlv so the tbl right tbl and that's it with a dot and i get all of the id first name so the field or the column is over here id dot equals and i need to set the compare to the id that we are passing in so this id we are passing in we select the employee where the table or the table that id equal is equal to the id and then i can just say dot get the single value right so we will just get the single value from it. execute this statement like or, or but only returns one value so we just want to return one single record so we just say get single over here so this is a we have for select all employees select just the one employee by id and we will write another query to uh, let's say update first so let's say future over here again 
in the future and we will have a type of the boolean so the boolean well whether is written or not so update was successful so we will just say update the employee over here and uh, then we have uh, let's say it's uh, async type over here and here we need to pass in the value that we want to update so let us pass the employee companion so this is the companion uh, value that we need to use so i'll just say companion uh, using this we can pass in the column or table that we uh, the table field right so all of the columns that we require for update so here i will just uh, call the update command directly so uh, let us just say return from here and i will just call it as a uh, await and we'll call the update function directly that is provided by us the drift update the table which is of the employee is the table and uh, then we have to write the, the replace so replace the entity so entity is this particular um this is the employee so if you just go to this particular definition you will see that employee companion extends the update companion and employee data so here is the the value or this is the this is the companion employee companion that has the name id and date of birth all of those for us right so this is the thing that we require to update so just i'll just call this one as a entity that should be fine so it will update whatever we have passing it will update that particular entity over here so we'll pass in the whole whole uh, column the table column the whole table entity then it will just update that whole field you can also um, uh, insert or delete right so we need to find uh, another way to um, delete and to insert right so let's uh, add the function over here so i need a future about it and this will be written type is an int because it will return as the current inserted record so i'll just call it as a i n s u insert the employee and uh, here we have to pass the employee companion again so these are the field or the column that we need to pass in so i'll just call it as a e n t i entity over here and this will be of async type and here we will uh, return again the await keyword and i need to insert into so i just call the into and the i need to pass in the table so table will be the employee and thought i have the insert command over here so insert and the entity that we are passing so you just have to pass in the employee entity or the employee data that we have over here so this is the thing that we have to do just a one line right quite similar to the android room db and uh, then we have a uh, one more that is of a delete so future again and we'll call it as a, we it will return the type as a int mm the uh, the deleted record how many record was deleted it will be returned for us and, and then we will just say delete sorry not select it should be of a delete the e delete the employee right so we need to delete the employee over here and then when we delete it we will just pass in the integer value of id so we just select the student and delete this particular id so we'll call this as a async function and we will return from here uh, await sorry it should be of a uh, await and here we will write a query to delete we'll pass the table as the employee again and dot dot uh, we need to find the where condition where table right so this will be tbl dot 
we have the id dot we will equals to the id that we have passing right so then we'll just call dot we have the go right so this will just delete a row matched by the set where set our uh, where clause so we have used a where clause then we'll use a go that will particularly delete the particular record for us so i think we have a uh, select all employee list of employees select employee by id we have a uh, update insert and delete so these are all the card operation or the um, the the card all of the insert update delete all of the function are available over here so uh, insert update read and delete so that is all available over here so you can just go through and um, let's meet up on the another video on the next video then we will see how we can use this to uh, insert and update delete and all of those stuff